and I had just been married seven months exactly. That morning, I had planned on going to work at about seven and had set my alarm. All of a sudden, I heard Moni coming from the bathroom, and I found him laying on the ground. And he was laying on his left side, and I really couldn't see his face too well. And the first thing I thought was, oh my God, did he have a heart attack? And then I got down close to him to see that he was alert and he was breathing. And I asked him if he could get up. Well, he was bleeding from the nose, and there was he had, was bleeding from the head a little bit. And um, he said, in a very slurred voice at that point, just said, no, helpless. And that's about all he could get out. And as soon as I saw that, I said, oh my God, he's having a stroke. I think I was in shock. I, I don't think I believed it. It was like it was happening to someone else and not to me. But I don't really think it hit me hard until I got to the Rehab Institute. That's when I really broke down and realized, okay, this is, this is really serious. My whole life really is going to change here, and so is his, and we have to start over. At that point, it was very important for me to know, you know, that he was going to the best place possible. So I knew of the Rehab Institute of Chicago, and I pretty much had it in my head that that's where he was going to go. All right, see, admitting this is Donna. For nearly 40 years, the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago has had the distinction of being one of the world's leading institutions serving persons working to overcome physical disabilities. Okay, when can we expect them? Morning, Barry. Morning, How are you today? Good, yourself? Good. Did you have a good weekend? Nice. Did you go out on pass yesterday? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Where'd you go? He was scared. He was very scared. In fact, I think he was frightened that he wasn't going to be able to do what they were going to ask of him. And then immediately, someone came in, one of the caregivers, and to started telling him what to expect. And a nurse also came in, what he would need to do to, you know, as far as, like, he needed clothes there and needed to like, you know, just all the little things. But when someone's telling you immediately, this is how we run things here, this is what you need to do, this is what you can expect, it made me feel better immediately and I think it made him feel more at ease. You know, after the first day or two, he really said, this is the place where I should be, this is, this is good and I can see that I'm going to progress and, and he felt a lot better. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Dr. Ross. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Good. Did you sleep well last night? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Good. Well, today is the happy day. Oh, yeah, getting ready to go home here in a few minutes. You feel uh, like it was uh, a, f a couple of weeks after Kenny's injury before we ever even started looking for a rehab center and uh, because we were worried about saving his life. And then I got hold to the Spinal Injury Association, and um, they gave me several names. They couldn't recommend anyone, but they gave me several names, and this institution was one of them. And then we started feeding it into a computer and uh, started getting my, all the information we could get on the top rehabilitation centers in the country. And every time, this one would come up with the very best. I understand you have someone that Dr. Stevens would like to transfer here for rehabilitation. Okay, what is the person's name? Well, after she had... His stager at home, we called 911 and my son downstairs and we took it to South Shore Hospital and they said she had a tumor on her brain. They told me that they had to shrink this tumor and my wife didn't want to have it done until I convinced her that the doctors knew better than we knew. So she finally agreed to it, which was successful. To the best of my knowledge and the best with the way that the doctors tell me it's successful. And that uh, they've done their job, so that now it's my job. There are some major losses after a patient has suffered a disabling event. And probably the first that come to mind are the are the physical losses that a patient would experience. The inability, for example, to walk or to feed themselves, to dress themselves. Someone who was functioning independently, going to work, enjoying life, able to do everything that he wanted to do, now may all of a sudden be stricken with an inability to perform any of those tasks. It's important for anybody providing care, rehabilitative care to patients, 
to take into consideration the totality of the patient, uh, their mental well-being, their psychosocial situation, their religious beliefs, and the impact and the welfare of the family and their concerns also. And I'm going to be interviewing you this morning, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read through your chart, find out a little bit more information about you, and then I'm going to come back and interview you and your husband again so I can get to know you and what your likes and dislikes are and how your stay will be at the Rehab Institute, okay? Um, during your stay, along with me interviewing you today, I'm also going to be your nurse therapist. So we'll get to know each other real well, and that means that I'm going to do teaching with you and teaching with you and so that you learn a little bit more about what's happened to you and get you ready to go home. So when you go home, you'll feel pretty secure and you'll feel like you know what's going on. Um, RAC believes that discharge planning starts on day one, and so we want to get to know the patient um, as holistically as we can so we can get to know them within their home, what their home environment was like, what their job was, what their family situation was, um, so that we can prepare them for returning back to the home or community setting with a wheelchair, or with some sort of assistive device if necessary. Um, RAC has a philosophy of mutual goal setting in that we would like the patient to let us know what they choose to accomplish during their stay at RIC. The RIC team spends a lot of time sitting down with the family and the patient talking about what findings we have found and what we believe we can um, look forward to in the next uh, weeks during the state RIC. I met a lot of the therapists um, right when Barry came in. I was very nervous and I think Barry was just very anxious himself too and um, his therapist just spent a lot of time and took it very slow and, and made me do everything so that I was actually doing it, not just watching. She had me in there doing it and, and moving him around and making sure that I felt confident about what I was doing and that Barry felt comfortable with it. The disabling event influences so many aspects of a person's life that it really takes a whole team of people involved in the care of the person. Um, in RAC, I feel like we're very team-oriented. Um, we work with a number of disciplines, speech therapy, physical therapy, vocational rehabilitation, as well as the neuropsychologists. Um, we really try to look at the whole person and evaluate where they're going to be discharged if we can upon admission and um, focus in on the areas that they need specifically in treatment. Through our years of experience, we have come to appreciate and encourage the uniqueness of each individual. We design a program for each of our patients with this uniqueness in mind. There's no cookbook recipe for anybody, any one person. Um, as I work with the different people, I, I um, make my goals very specific to what their needs are. And that's why I think it's so important where you're going and how you feel about your therapists and how you feel about where, you know, just the whole therapy in general. Because I think. And I've, we've talked about this since he's come home, and uh, it's been actually a big topic of ours. I said, you have to feel comfortable with where you're going. You have to feel positive about where you are and, and your therapist and what they're doing for you. And the therapy is great, in the, in the, but all of the professional people here are, are tremendously great. All, everything from Beth Golden, his uh, nurse.